Hello and thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your monthly August 2020 tarot card reading. If you would like to check out your free three card spread, you could do so by clicking the link beneath this video, or indeed you could reach out for me for a one-to-one -one session where we can look through your situation, and I'll leave that information down below as well. But let's get into this month and see what the cards hold for you. Hello Aquarius, and thank you so much for joining me here for your August 2020 2020 tarot card reading. Let's have a look at what's going on for you in your present situation, Aquarius. We have the four of coins comes up, the four of pentacles as your present card. This uh, card can be twofold. It can be that you're not wanting to share your gifts and talents in some way. Um, there can be a fear of being judged when this card comes up. It can just mean that you feel a little bit apathetic uh, at times this month and you're not quite sure uh, what it is you're supposed to be doing in order to push forwards in some sense. So it's not a terribly negative card but it's not a card that sort of urges you to like move forward at fast pace now let's see what is blocking you so the card that's blocking you this month is the three of cups the three of cups is about community it's about celebration and sharing in something so it could be that if you have um not been able to venture out much within this pandemic that actually this month that might get on top of you a little bit maybe you've been okay up until now but maybe the company of other people is something that you're craving a little bit um and i think that if you do get that company if you do get those outside conversations then a lot of that apathy will disappear uh, a lot of that stagnation will disappear now the card that is uh, your foundation card is the knight of uh, wands now uh, Capricorn had this card as well the knight of wands if we look at him here he is not dressed up for battle and neither is his horse they're very uh, dressed in sort of glamorous clothing as though they're going uh, through a town and being adorned and being adored um, so this is very creative it's very it is quick energy but it's um, a very confident energy it's adventurous and so Aquarius as your foundation card this is actually a really solid card to have. Um, if your month does start off with a bit of this apathy, then you can rest assured that as you move through it, more confidence will be found. Now, your past card is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is exhaustion, Aquarius. It's doing too much. It's taking on too much. Um, you know, you have a need for sleep. You have a need to meditate um, and, and just let some tears go when this card comes up. Don't feel that like you have to carry everything on your shoulders. Uh, allow yourself to reach out for help if you need it. Now, the card that is spiritually crowning you is glorious, this is the Nine of Cups. You may want to pause this video and make a little wish because this card in tarot is known as the wish card. And because it is a spirit, it's in the position that spiritually crowns you, I feel like this is a spiritual gift coming your way, um, something that you've been praying for, something that you've been asking for. Um, and there could be a real chance for celebration with this. Um, I just feel that like you're going to be in a very spiritual Sent a way of being this month, uh, a bit more ethereal. And actually, I think that is going to really be something just absolutely fantastic to experience. Stay in that moment uh, if and when it happens. So your immediate future here is the Nine of Swords. So your tarot reading so far is a bit of a mixed bag here because the Nine of Swords isn't the most happiest of chaps uh, this can mean certain amount of exhaustion it can mean um, that depression or anxiety creeps in restless nights and maybe even nightmares so if there is something that's on your mind that you're not talking about or that you feel burdened and it's kind of getting on top of you it's really important to speak about it and maybe even admit whatever it is to yourself um, because spiritually you've got all this beautiful stuff going on your foundation is giving you the confidence and yet there is something maybe holding you back Aquarius so it's figuring out what this is and it will be different from person to person now your state of mind for this month 
is the Empress. The Empress is a very fertile card. She is about expansion. She is about our material needs being met, our home being comfortable and us feeling safe. And so maybe that th this is something that you feel you're lacking in some way, some sort of maternal safety or structure around you. Um, but I do feel because this is a major arcana card, that means that the energy from this card is very strong. And so Yes, you may be asked to be the nurturer to somebody else this month, but I think um, for, for the majority of you, um, you need to be a little bit looked after, especially if you're the one that's usually looking after everybody else. Now, your outside influence for this month, Aquarius, is the Three of Pentacles. This is the card of the apprentice. This is the mason and the two apprentices building something, working together as a team to get something done. Just reiterating that message not to go it alone um you know that saying two heads are better than one well in this case it's three heads are better than one and seeing those outside perspectives and points of view could really give you um unlock the answer that it is that you're looking for now your hopes and fears for this month i think this is a fear we can definitely say this is the tower um aquarius are you afraid that something's going to be taken away from you in some way um living sort of I feel like it's teetering on the edge of almost not being able to celebrate the wins because there's a fear of it being taken away um the tower can be destructive you know I'm not going to sugarcoat that the tower can tear down everything that we thought was uh, real but the tower only really shows itself when something wasn't built on solid ground in the first place. So I think the question to ask yourself this month, Aquarius, is what is not built on solid ground? What are you not 100% okay with? And addressing it, um, this isn't to say this will happen. This is in the hope and fear section of your spread. So, you know, if this is a fear, address it head on. Um, no more burying the head in the sand about this and your outcome is um, the six of wands sorry the seven of wands um, so the seven of wands is very much about defending yourself defending what you have created um, if you feel a bit picked on if you feel a little bit bullied in some way, you've got to stand up for yourself. This could be through uh, your friendship group, it could be your family, it could be on social media. There are times in life where it's sometimes the best route to say nothing and just to ignore a situation uh, and let it pass. There are other times in life where actually you have to stand your ground against slander, you have to stand your ground against people bad mouthing you in some way. And so, this confidence that came from the Knight of Wands uh, really transfers onto this. I feel like it's about digging yourself out of any apathy, any stagnation this month and really um, becoming a force to be reckoned with. Let that confidence shine through. Don't let people take credit for the work that you've done. Um, and it's about no more Mr. Nice Guy, <laughs> you know? Yes, by all means, be kind, be nice, uh, be loyal. But at the same time, look after your own welfare, Aquarius, and uh, really give yourself some TLC this month. I'd just like to thank you once more for joining me here this month. Uh, it's been a real honor being with you. If you would like to check out that free three card spread, I'll leave that information down below. But until we speak again next month, I'm wishing you lots of luck. Take care, uh, Alyssa.